Hey Tegos, it's Shitsy, and welcome to the first part of my Sims 4 Werewolves LP. This is going to be a mini series here on the channel, and I am just so excited to start this with you guys because I am not familiar with the cults at all. You guys know, like, I usually just do very family based, story detailed LPs here, but now we are actually exploring something new. We are going to be doing occults on my channel. I kind of gave you guys a little bit of detail about these Sims in yesterday's. Um, cast showcase but today we are actually delving deep into their background stories and kind of just getting started with the LP from the intro you guys could tell that Ivy and her older sister Sage were just now getting into town and getting settled into their new home this house is their uncle's house he doesn't live in this town anymore obviously um, he used to rent it out to people but his family Ivy and Sage just recently needed somewhere to live they needed to relocate we're gonna get into that further detail but they just needed to relocate somewhere quiet and low-key and he was like I have the perfect place for you to stay and you do not have to pay bills just maintain the house keep it in good shape and that's all I ask well Ivy and Sage were outside they had just gotten out of their very hot truck and they were talking to each other they were super excited about getting settled in and then Ivy heard something in the shack and when they came up to it Sage was like no I'll definitely go in first First, and Sage walked in and noticed this guy right here, our Sim Draven. He was sleeping on the ground. Now, we're going to pretend they can't see this aura or anything. She just walked in and she saw this very sweaty man sleeping on the floor. And I know you guys are probably like, well, there's a comfy couch right here. He is more comfortable sleeping on the floor. <laughs> but she walked in and she was just like, hey, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. And they're kind of just talking amongst themselves. He woke up and he is very angry. I don't know if he's angry because we woke him up or it has something to do with something else entirely. We just want to know why he's here. Now, Ivy, she's going to be like, hey, sis, you know, don't, don't yell at him. It's okay. Let me talk to him and ask him what he's doing here so she's gonna you know apologize for the inconvenience you know because her sister told her to so she's gonna be like hey i'm i'm really sorry about coming in here very hostile like and he's like oh it's okay just please don't wake me up like that again i just i can't be woken up like that sometimes i can't control my anger and i just get really frustrated really quickly and i didn't want to take anything out on you personally i just turned off his fury effect i forgot i could do that now ivy she's going to try to interrupt the conversation and she's like hey my name's ivy i'm really sorry about my sister yelling at you and immediately our guy Draven is really taken back by how beautiful Ivy is he just can't stop staring at her he is like oh my gosh she is so gorgeous now he's not going to be forward about this he's just going to keep this tucked away inside <laughs> but Ivy's like hey I'm really sorry about the inconvenience with my sister um we're just kind of trying to get settled in and we were just curious as to why you were here and he's like oh okay um yeah, and her sister's like, yeah, you just, just, we just want to know why you're here, buddy. Like, nothing personal. And Draven's like, I mean, I had nowhere else to go. I've been homeless for a while, and I was staying in the woods, and I noticed nobody was over here for months. So I just kind of crawled through the window, and I've just been sleeping here. But if you guys want me to leave, that's totally fine. I'll leave. And her sister's like, well, I mean, I don't know if my sister's comfortable with you staying here. And Ivy's like, hang on a second. I didn't say anything. I, I, don't, I don't mind if he stays here. He can stay here. And... You know, Sage is like, are you are you sure you're okay with this guy living here? Especially after what just happened in the city. Like, the whole reason we came out here was so you could have a fresh start. And Ivy's like, no, sis, it's totally fine. You know, I wouldn't, if I didn't have anywhere to go, I didn't want, I wouldn't want to be on the streets either. And I kind of feel bad for him. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. So it's okay if he stays here, right? Like, if, if we let you stay, can you help out around the house? Do you mind doing that? Like... You can help us with the garden and everything and maybe fix up the house a little bit because our uncle told us the house needs a little fixing up because it's been abandoned for a while. And he's like, what? Like, I didn't sign up to fix up a house. I mean, I don't I don't know if I can do that. Like, I don't know if I can be around people right now. And you all saw the sisters just look at each other and she's like, so you're sure you're okay with this? Like, this is not going to be something that's bothering you. I like how they completely ignored him and they were like, oh, if he wants to stay here, he's going to help us around the house. And are you, are you sure you're okay with that? And she's like, come on, sis. I am a grown woman. If I want him to stay here, he can stay here. I'm, I'm okay. I swear. And he's like, okay. 
okay, so you guys just want me to help around the house. Like, I mean, I guess I can do that. I just have some personal business of my own, so I don't know how much time I can really sacrifice to help you guys out, but I'll help out as much as I can. She's like, see, he's, he's going to help out. That's great, right? I'm glad you threw that idea out on the table, Ivy, because this house is a mess. We definitely need some help fixing it up. And Ivy's like, yes, now one more thing. You're going to have to help us cook, too, because we can't cook. <laughs> and she just thinks that's hilarious. She's like, I'm so sorry, sis. I didn't mean to put our business out there, but <laughs> we need help in the kitchen. Now, I do want to give you guys a little scoop as to what I was referring to as to what happened in the city with Ivy. Now, Ivy was coming home from work. She is a freelance photographer. So I thought that would be perfect to, you know, be her hobby. I mean, not her hobby, but her career as well, because we can kind of get out and about in take pictures out here it's very gorgeous i'm also trying out a new reshade so i hope this is okay i just really wanted a very foresty feel <laughs> i wanted a different vibe for my lp but i thought it would be perfect to have her be a freelance photographer for this lp and just kind of help us get out and see things and just explore a little bit more because i'm usually the type of player to stay in the house ivy was coming home one night from her job and she was approached by someone she did not know sorry guys i had to turn on the autonomy so they could kind of take care of themselves when i talk to you all but as ivy was home coming home she was attacked in the middle of the night just right outside of her apartment she didn't know who the person was or anything they kind of just approached her and they seem to have been acting very strange very different from normal behavior and she didn't really like think too much of it at first I mean she was really scared honestly but she was such an open outgoing person that she was just waiting for this person to say what they needed and if they needed help she was willing to help them but before she could even say hello she was attacked I knew I need to switch her into a different outfit so you guys can see it really quickly I, sh I hope you saw it in the cast but let me see if I can put her in something so you can see her torso so in this outfit here you can kind of see it but she has a big scar on her torso area and she also has one here on her cheek now she thought she was you know cut with a knife but she was actually cut with claws the person that attacked her was someone who was on the verge of becoming a werewolf and they didn't really know how to control themselves and they attacked her. Now she kind of hit the floor and everything went black. She covered her face and she heard something in the distance and the werewolf took off. Now she doesn't know she was attacked by werewolves because oh my gosh if she knew she would not be living here <laughs> but she did not know and I know I said in the cast that her sister is very much so a werewolf enthusiast like she's super hyped about it but but yeah, she, she didn't know that she was attacked. Why can't I get to the fridge? And why is old boy just like creepily walking around like this? Look at this, guys. <laughs> That's so weird. Yes, but I'm so sorry. I'm so distracted. I apologize. I think it's because I have this chair here. So I'm actually going to delete this chair. Hopefully that'll help and she can get the fridge. But oh my God, I'm so sorry about this storytelling. <laughs> but she was attacked and... It was just, it was a lot. She looked down, covered her face, and when she looked back up, the werewolf was gone. The werewolf had heard something in the distance that kind of spooked it and had it run in the other direction. And then she kind of just passed out from just shock. And her sister was like, where, where is Ivy? She's supposed to be home by now. She looked out the window and noticed her sister was passed out laying on the sidewalk and it kind of alarmed her. So she ran outside, picked her up and was like, what happened, what happened? Ivy told her that the only thing she remembered was being cut and she was bleeding from her face and her sister was like, oh my God, well, let's get you inside. After talking, they decided that the city just was not for them right now and that they needed to move to a different location. They wanted somewhere a little bit more quiet and away from other people. So they talked to their uncle and he was like, you guys can go live at my old house if you want. I definitely don't go out there anymore. I usually rent it out, but it hasn't been rented out in a long time. So just make it your own and just get back to feeling like you you used to now their parents have been gone for a while their dad was really never in the picture and their mom passed away a few years ago so it's just been the two of them for a long time and I, I don't think they expected to come out here and see Mr. Draven sleeping out in the shed but you know this might be a good thing for them now Draven he is a werewolf but he's going to try to keep that to himself as much as possible as you guys can see here his fury is quite close to going off but he, I think he's going to maybe leave 
leave and try to run away when it does go off so that way they are not seeing him act like a werewolf <laughs> and i'm sure some of you are like well does draven have a family like does he have parents or anything like that he does he has a whole family but and i don't mean like children or anything he just has a mom and a dad <laughs> and probably some siblings but he kind of distanced himself and he ran away because he did not want to turn into a werewolf around them and possibly hurt them or scare them or have them like living on eggshells or walking on eggshells i mean around him so he just ran away and he didn't tell them where he was going or anything but he is here at moonwood mill because he heard that all the werewolves hang out here and he said that well, he heard that someone knew a thing or two about the cure, and that's kind of what he wants to do, is he wants to find the cure. So Draven is out here to do some studying. He's got a really busy, busy schedule. He is definitely planning to get back to how things were for him. He's a musician. He's really into playing music, and he just wants his old life back. So we are going to be exploring the cure aspect of the LP, or the pack rather, with Draven. And then I was thinking because Sage is so into werewolves, maybe we can like turn her into one. I don't know. We'll have to see how I feel. But that's kind of like what I was going for. Like she would be the werewolf experiment and he would be the cure experiment. But yes, guys, I'm sorry the introduction was so freaking long and I was all over the place, but I just had to get it out the best way I could. But I was thinking maybe we could kind of hang around the house. Ivy is just looking on her phone. She's been looking for a new camera and wanting to order a new one because when she was attacked that night, her bag fell and her camera broke. So I was hoping maybe we could get on like a laptop or something and order one. I don't know if there's a laptop in here. It doesn't really look like there is. So let me actually go into build by and order us a new camera. I'm so excited because I've been wanting to explore Moonwood Mill a lot more and I feel like getting out and taking pictures is probably the best way to do it. All right, so we just got our laptop. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and browse and see if I can order a new camera. Oh my gosh, look, browse couples. I don't need to worry about that right now. This is a whole LP on werewolves. So I feel like I would probably be able to purchase it from gifts. Let's see if we can find it here. I don't see anything. Oh, there's one camera, but we want something a little bit more flashy. I saw one there. Um, let's see if we can find an even better one because we have plenty of money to spend. Like they had a really good savings, especially since their mom passed away. They've just been kind of sitting on some money um, so they definitely could have bought their own place, but it was just really convenient that their uncle was willing to let them stay here for free. So let's see, we have the crystal clear digital camera here. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that and I'm sure it'll be delivered right away because the service is amazing <laughs> in the Sims. So she has her new camera and I'm so excited because I want to take her outside and get her to take her first selfie here in her new home of Moonwood Mill. She's really excited about a fresh start, but I feel like she's going to be a little timid. She is a loner now she was more outgoing in her past but ever since the attack she's just been very to herself lately um so let's go ahead and oh i wanted to take a photo of myself i guess i can't take a selfie like that <laughs> but maybe we can like try to capture a picture of our truck oh yeah that would be kind of cool let's get a picture of the truck like this and we'll do maybe like this size yes cool it's not the best photo but it, it'll do for right now <laughs> but i'm gonna have her come out here like i was trying to earlier and get her to take a selfie oh my gosh the game still lags when you try to take a picture <laughs> and let's have her take her first selfie oh my god look at the look at the serious face she's giving here <laughs> also if you guys are curious about my selfie poses if you ever see them again like if i'm ever taking them in game um, I did download them. I forget the username of the creator, but if I can remember, if anybody asks about it, I'll link it down below. But man, I feel like we're kind of getting settled now. I'm so excited. I haven't decided yet if I want to throw down custom lots here. I kind of just want to play with what we have because I think it's so cool, like just to see the pack for what it is and not change too much. But you know, everybody's starting to get a little hungry and Draven is also getting hungry. So I feel like Ivy would be the type of person to be like, hey guys, like let's Let's go out and get something to eat, especially since she's not all that great at cooking and neither is her sister. So we're going to grab everybody together and travel on over to the bar over here. Just got here to the bar and right away I noticed that Draven was a little smelly. So I'm going to cheat up his hygiene really quickly. Um, but he's acting a little strange. They're like, what? What are you doing, dude? Like, why are you just going to start digging in the ground like that? That's so weird. Now, he is very, very close. Like his fury is very close to going off. So I don't know what he's going to do. Hopefully the girls don't see him, you know, 
like like see him go werewolf because that would be a really bad thing but i don't think ivy would really tell him hey you you gotta go (laughs) kind of thing because she's too nice like that but let's come over here and order us something to eat i'm so hungry i'm gonna have her sister get some french fries and then i think ivy let's see what should ivy order Ooh, bread rolls or currywurst oh my god let's get some currywurst that sounds great now don't forget your french fries sage Oh, is that a whole platter? Oh, yes. Let's come over here and eat at the table. And then Ivy, you uh, you get your currywurst as well and come sit down with your sister. She's already on it. Like, <laughs> these sims are perfect. I don't, besides the fact that she keeps getting up. Where are y'all going? <laughs> don't y'all just hate when your sims do this, when you're trying to play your game just as professionally as you can? <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're embarrassed because he's over here digging. Okay, y'all just come sit over here and mind your business and you eat your curry worst. Now, Draven heard that the bartender here knows some secrets, so he's kind of thankful that, you know, Ivy suggested they come out here. But I don't think that he can talk to her because he's currently, he has a perk rate. Well, yeah, he has a perk rate here that says the beast beckons. Draven is losing his grip on humanity and will soon give in to the beast within. Make sure to keep Draven a safe distance away from anyone you wouldn't want nothing anything bad to happen right oh so draven's feeling a little weird he's gonna be like um guys i i don't i don't know i think i need to take a walk and they're like are you sure like you're, you're totally fine like you you don't you don't have to leave we're sorry like you you're not embarrassing us or anything but he's just like creepily walking away <laughs> it's okay he's like I, I i feel i'm starting to feel like super weird I, I feel like i need to go far he's had this happen to him one other time before and he just he really ended up hurting somebody and he doesn't want that to happen again so he's quite paranoid guys but where could he go exactly i mean we could run over here i guess this might be a safe distance here because we really don't want you know ivy and sage to see us act like this but yeah let's just come over here and try to get into a safe distance away from everybody and it'll kind of let us explore moonwood mill a little bit because i haven't really seen the world so yeah let's just explore and just walk around with draven right now and he oh oh uh oh uh oh it was just a little tweak <laughs> now draven i have been working with a little bit not too much just a pinch <laughs> he is very close into aging up into a runt and he does have a few of the abilities here i'll go ahead and show them to you so i'm sure you guys saw but he was sleeping on the floor so he has the wolf nap one and he also has the scavenger one i thought that would be beneficial since he's trying to find a cure so i think digging around and just trying to find collectibles or things that he might need Need for ingredients would be a good idea but we're just gonna keep on walking you know and I think doesn't Greg look, live over here somewhere is it over this way no this is that area I have no idea where Greg lives I know that it's like somewhere off the map let me get relocated with Draven again um yeah I'm gonna have to look because I know oh here he is. He's over here. <laughs> so maybe we can go over on to this side. This side looks a little bit more low key and for sure no one will see me like turn full werewolf over here. So I think it's a it's safe for sure. Now he does have something here. He's a night wolf. So it says night wolves prefer sleeping during the day and gain fury when de dividing from a nocturnal sleep cycle. So maybe that's why he was super angry. Oh my God, he's running across the water. That's so cool. Maybe that's why he was super angry and he was just not about it. Now he's like, this seems like a good place. You know, I don't think anybody will see me here, but what is that sign? Oh, he's howling now, guys. Oh my gosh. The only thing I wish is that he was wearing his outfit. So I'm going to go ahead and have him change outfits. He's going to change back into his everyday outfit. I know I could do it through MC Command Center, but I love changing the outfit like that sometimes. All right. So this is Draven's everyday outfit. He looked at the sign and he's like, what is this? And he's like, oh, 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 wait a second. Look at his face. <laughs> he's sweating. He's like, I don't know, man. I'm starting to really feel like it's about to happen any moment now and I can't control myself. Now, let's see if we can scavenge the ground. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's coming in very, very fast. <laughs> he's, Greg is kind of scary. Like, I'm sorry, Greg. I'm, I didn't mean to disturb you. 
<laughs> Greg is going, oh, he's gonna fight me on sight. Oh, oh, okay, this is not good. Oh no, oh no, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> He's like, it's on sight, anybody that comes to my house. But he's he's just going for it. Oh my god, guys, what if he wins? I kind of hope he does because oh, <laughs> this would be bad. He was just curious. He was trying to stay away from everybody so he didn't hurt anyone. And then he walks over here, runs into another werewolf, and then gets into a fight. I doubt he'll win. Greg is supposed to be super scary and intimidating, so I don't think so. Oh no. <gasps> is he okay? Oh my god, are you okay? Draven! Draven, get up, buddy! Greg really messed him up and now he's just like howling. He's like, uh-huh. Stay away from over here. Don't come back. Don't come back over here. Oh no! Oh no, he's very angry. He can't contain it anymore. He is like, I am not, I'm not, not myself. Please, please get away from me. Oh no! Don't hurt anybody. <laughs> he needs to calm down. Where, what should we do? Oh, I guess he's just gonna start digging. <laughs> The moment I'm like freaking out about him and I'm like, is he okay? Are things okay? And he just starts digging. Like he's not trying to hurt anybody. <laughs> but it does say that he has a prideful perk now. So this means this son feels a special pride about being a werewolf and doesn't appreciate being made to feel otherwise. Aside from gaining fury while embarrassed or uncomfortable, they also might take things a little too personally. So, okay, that's intense. And he's also on a rampage now. The rampage says Draven's fury is unleashed. Werewolves who are rampaging are on a mer merciless warpath let me go ahead and lock on him a merciless warpath oh no i canceled it i'm the worst <laughs> oh no i hate you guys sometimes well i guess he's gonna transform back to himself now oh yeah sorry about that guys <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> but i mean he's still gonna come back home and like have this big scratch across his face and a big paw print and a band-aid and the girls are gonna be like Draven, what happened? Like, you said you were going for a walk and now you look like you've been beat up. Like, did you get into a fight with a bear or something? They're gonna be really concerned. But Draven's gonna try to catch back up with the girls. Let's see how Ivy and them are doing. Ivy's just partying in the bar. She's having a good time. <laughs> like, she didn't really think too much of it. And at least she's just enjoying herself. Who is this? Ollie Sillen. Oh, Ollie's kinda cute. <laughs> and we're Sage at. I'm gonna go ahead and bring Draven over here as well. Also, for those of you who play League of Legends, I'm sure you can tell where I got the name from. I am super obsessed with Draven. I love Draven. <laughs> so that's where his name came from. Oh my gosh, he's feeling dazed. <laughs> Sage is just over here just mingling and talking to everybody. She's so outgoing as well. She will talk to anyone that gives her the time of day. So she's, she's just like talking to this person right here. But when Draven gets over here, I'm going to see if he can possibly talk to this sim now, now that he's not on a rampage. So let's see if we can really introduce ourselves because he, he really genuinely is a nice guy. Like Draven does not want to cause any problems. He just wants to be normal again. So he's very focused on getting to the point, finding out how he can resolve things and how he can be normal again so he's really dedicated to finding out the information he needs it took Draven a while but he's finally over here and he's going to introduce himself to Celine uh her name's Celine Lopez she's so cute I love the sim I love the freckles I love everything about the sim <laughs> but he's like hey Celine um my name's Draven I'm new here and I was just curious if maybe I could ask you some questions and she's like go ahead you know we bartenders we really love talking to people so just ask Ask away whatever you want to ask me. Ask if Celine wants to become a werewolf. No, let's ask about Moonwood Mill. Like, hey, so have you lived here long? Like, what's the story on this place? Like, are, are there any old legends or urban tales? Like, do you have any tips and any of that? We can ask about werewolf packs. And I think that I just first want to ask about Moonwood Mill. Wait, what's happening? Beastie Boogie? Oh, he's going to go dance. <laughs> no, you're supposed to be asking about Moonwood Mill. Mill. Y'all are going to like hear me mess up this name a whole bunch. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. But let's send him right back on over here. He's kind of frustrating me right now. But let's ask her again and see if she can tell us something this time. I like how Sage is starting to come around though. I mean, she's still very cautious. Does anyone really know what the moon is made of? It could be cheese. Why are we discounting cheese? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I mean, that's not really what I was expecting. And Draven's like, am I just super dazed right now? Or does Celine not make any sense at all? Now, maybe we can try again. Let's ask one more time about Moonwood Mill and see if she tells us something different this time. Oh, she said right now, it's always the darkest out during the new moon. I can't count how many times in the past I've stubbed my toe on something in the dark. Well, I mean... Yes, that, that makes sense. <laughs> She's still not telling me really anything that I want to know. But guys, we did go ahead and level up into our runt rank. So that means that we just have to experience a full moon and read werewolf books. I currently already read one, so I need to read one more. And then I need to see a full moon, which the full moon happens on Friday. So that's a little bit away. So we'll probably do that in the next episode and then we can go ahead and start his journey to finding the cure and of course i think that ivy's going to be very helpful in this situation because she's going to want to explore and she's going to offer her help to draven because she's just a helping pleasing type of person but it is kind of late it's 2 30 in the morning so i'm going to go ahead and send everyone home everybody's super exhausted except for draven i think he's fine yeah he's fine plus he likes to sleep during the day and oh my gosh this thing just fills right up <laughs> All right, so we're home. Everyone's kind of tucked away for the night. Sage has gone to bed and so has Ivy, but Draven is still awake. He's kind of cleaning up. He did say that he would help around the house. So he's cleaning up the dishes, putting things back, and he's going to help himself to reading a book. He's going to go ahead and read something, you know, werewolf related. So there's Peter Barker's first moon. As a, you know, a Spider-Man fan, I really want to read this one. So I'm going to go ahead and read the first Peter Barker's. <laughs> That's so cute. Peter Barker. We're going to read this book and see if it ticks off our little aspiration option here. That way we can be done and only have to experience the full moon. So I got a little notification here from the book. It says he'd made it through his first full moon. It was mostly a blur and Peter hadn't felt in control through most of the night. But he also remembered how exciting it was to run wild in the night with his friends under the loving gaze of the moon. That sounds so inviting and kind of makes me want to be a werewolf. But, you know, Draven's like, that That doesn't sound too bad. Maybe, maybe I can be a werewolf. But no, we are going to find the cure because we, we don't want to be like this anymore. So, yes, we need to find out what we can do to get rid of this. And while we spent all that time at the bar, I completely forgot to get Draven's something to eat so we got to get something to eat and i noticed that on twitter somebody said that you can eat chickens y'all like the chickens from cottage living you can eat them <laughs> as a werewolf it's kind of sad <laughs> um but it's interesting to know like cool fact <laughs> but let's come in here and get us something to eat hopefully oh you can smash it let's not smash the fridge the girls will come down and be like so what 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 is this <laughs> but maybe we can cook uh, let's see, what can we cook? Oh, he's like, oh my god, a grilled cheese sounds great, but I just really want something meaty. Like, oh, there's nothing in here meaty that he can really eat, so I guess we will have to go ahead and eat a grilled cheese. Like, <laughs> my little werewolf is gonna eat himself a grilled cheese. I guess that's okay. Ooh, so he earned something from that. It says, Lunar Epiphany Unlocked. Draven can now start to decipher the strange markings found in the, what does it say? Oh my gosh margins of the werewolf books what what new knowledge is out there waiting to be discovered oh that's really cool and it's also summer break <laughs> but that's so cool and i don't know why it didn't tick off for the book because we definitely read a third book so that's weird but guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this part i know first parts are very like super detailed for the most part but i promise y'all the next episode is going to be so much fun we are going to be exploring lore we're going to be exploring just the aspiration of this pack so i'm super excited i know a lot of you all have asked about draven's hair and also about ivy's hair so i'll have those linked down below if y'all want to go cop them and get them for yourself so so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. And if you aren't subscribed already, can you go ahead and subscribe to me? I would love to have you here <laughs> if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, like it, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye, guys.